Good afternoon. Toxic smog from China is pushing fine and ultra fine dust to very high levels in many parts, and the Chungcheongbukdo region is under an ultra fine dust advisory. Now, fine dust particles are more likely to penetrate deep into the lungs, while ultra fine particles can be absorbed directly into the bloodstream. So try to avoid outdoor activities today. But it's a real shame because we are having surprisingly mild temperatures after days with both chilling readings, and Seoul will get up to 7 degrees Celsius, while Daegu and Gwangju will make it to 11 and 12 degrees. In fact, we'll see readings above the norms for the time being, but expect to see light rainfall on Tuesday afternoon. With that, let's take a look at the international weather for beers around the world. While well, most regions in South Korea will be dealing with high levels of fine dust all day, most cities in North Korea will see much cooler temperatures along with snowfall in some parts. And as for the rest of Asia, most regions in China and India are covered in the blanket of toxic smog. Meanwhile, Perth is forecast to receive up to 45 millimeters of rain on Monday along with strong gusty winds. Heading to North America, it will be mostly sunny on Monday in Vancouver, while rain is in the forecast for the rest of the week, while foreign ministers will gather for North Korea talks in the city starting Tuesday. And as for South America, Peru will have calm weather conditions under mostly sunny skies, including southern Peru, where a powerful earthquake hit over the weekend. And taking you to Europe, London and Paris will have a rainy start to the work week. Lastly, to Africa, major cities on the map will be under mostly sunny skies, except Cape Town along with showers. And that's all the weather update for now.